Hey everyone, this is a review of the Samsung DeX. This is the dock that um, came with the Galaxy S8 that you buy on the side. That once you get it, you can plug the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus into it and it turns your phone, Samsung S8, into a desktop. So let's check it out. Um, so I have Nova a lot. First things first, I have Nova Launcher installed on my phone, but that's not showing on here. So I guess once you put in DeX, it goes back to the Samsung default launcher. So it even uses the, the default Samsung internet launcher when I, I don't use that at all. I use Chrome. So it, it behaves mostly like a, like a Mac or Windows. So when you bring your mouse down, you see a little bar with all my apps. So some apps like Facebook works just fine, it seems like I already checked it earlier. So it's quite interesting that it opens up in, in the size of a phone. And scrolling the animation is not too smooth, but you know, it does its job. So this is just the app version of Facebook showing on my desktop right now. Um, other stuff though don't work, so for example I have... Well, I can't find it now. I had a, I tried to open the game earlier and it didn't load. Let's see if Gmail will load. Okay, and I like that Gmail. It opens up wider, and you can even maximize Gmail. Oh, okay. So this is cool. So uh, this is almost like working off of a, a, a desktop, like on on a web browser instead of an app. So let me just delete this email. Yep, seems to be working fine. Okay, anything else? If I go to Google Play Store, let's see if I can download anything. Uh, NFL. Okay. So, um, as you can see, the Android buttons are here. I don't quite know what they do. So this, will, oh, okay. So this is a recent apps. So you bring up all your all the stuff that I've opened. This is the app tray. So this is my app tray now on here. It, it's the stock app tray because I have um, Nova Launcher on my phone. Home button. And right here, I think, so you see these little icons here. So um, this is to take a screenshot. This is to use an on-screen keyboard, I believe. Yeah, so you can bring up an on-screen keyboard. Oh, um, so the Dex, it, it comes with these ports in the back. So right now I, I, I all you have to do is connect, is plug in HDMI to a monitor, and then you plug in a wireless mouse and keyboard. So I'm using the Dell wireless mouse and keyboard setup. So two plugs, and I have my my desktop basically. I'm just typing. Let's let's type something and see if it works. Let me bring up mm, documents. So this is like an app version. <coughs> okay. Okay, the typing experience is pretty good. There isn't much of a lag. So I'm able to should be able to write a document on this just fine. Um, is there anything else? See, let's see if Twitter works on this. So I gotta find my app tray. Oh, WhatsApp. So I, yeah, I can open WhatsApp and send messages. So okay, so I'm able to send WhatsApp messages to to my mom through my phone and. Okay, Twitter works fine, and they even have the dark mode that I use for the app. So this is just the um, the app version of Twitter. Okay, so um, this is it. A quick look at the Samsung Dex. Let me let me unplug it really quick. So once you unplug, it, it shuts down. Obviously, the the as you can see, the the Dex itself is pretty light. So you have to plug in three things actually, I made a mistake. You have to plug in a power supply, which is I just use the Samsung charger, an HDMI cable, which goes into a monitor or a TV, and then some type of um, US uh, Bluetooth thing for your mouse and keyboard. I, I guess you can plug in a standard keyboard 
like a USB keyboard on here and a USB mouse in here if you don't want to use Bluetooth. And the, the DeX goes like this and you plug your phone onto here. It looks like the Samsung fast charger, kind of, the wireless charger. So this is the Samsung DeX. You can get it now on mobilefun.com. Okay, thank you. That's it for now.